This is SPY on the five minute time frame. Here are your price targets for Friday. We ended the day at $543.01, down 1.42%. This is where we ended. To the north side from where we are takes us to VWAP at 544.71 above that at the middle of the trend and the baseline and resistance 546.65 above that at two standard deviations and another level of resistance and a potential take profit area 554.45 another area of resistance 558.46 and 562.43 this line this line and this line are your clear outliers and your sell signals if you're trying to get in and out of a stock. To the downside, at negative two standard deviations and another level of support and a potential buy-in area, 538.63, 534.63, and 530.79. I do not anticipate it to get down to this level, but if we should wick down to this blue line, I will anticipate a buy-in as people buy the dip. And looking left, you can see where we started to crater at resistance, resistance, resistance. And on the way down, this turns into support and then a bounce off of that. And this gap closed to the upside. Clean up my chart. 553.32. This gap is still in play to the upside. change that to green and it appears that this gap that I've been tracking is still in play as well taking our count down to roughly 536.92 very close and if we again head south that will take care of that if we make it down to this level but if we do get down to this level and this gap here i will definitely anticipate a buy in as people take advantage of the dip but we are moving farther away from this gap you can see on the five minute time frame we are in an upward channel and this, if we continue going up at the pace that we are, but that's not likely, this thing will whip us around. That could, oh, that's going to be closed out next week. Fingers crossed. And I have other gaps I think I'm tracking to the south side. That's closed out. I have to go through and clean up my chart. I don't continuously track the same things over and over again, except for whatever is the number one traded ticker across all markets, which lately has been Nvidia, and that's why I've been doing that chart a lot. Okay, so this gap touched. No longer a threat to our account to the south side done done this one touched this one touched here at 507 done I can spend quite some time cleaning up my chart which I will do at some other point I will not bore you maybe I'll do that when I look at this in the bigger picture in the future now moving on to the next one that's going to be I'm going to go over Apple. They reported earnings on Thursday. This is on the 15 minute. So let me flip this over to the five. Option R to reset. And we ended the day at $218.36, down 1.68%. This is where we are. VWAP takes us to 219.78. Ignore this white line. I believe that was the previous middle of the trend I drew out. Oops. Command Z. See, I 
moved it too fast and the chart got wonky and I touched something. So just hit Command Z. There we go. To reset. VWAP 21978, middle of the trend and another level of resistance. This will be resistance as well. And this line, 22090, as well as this line, but I'm not giving you targets there. I'm just going with a negative two and two standard deviations, 22496 on the linear, and 22698, 22895 to the south side. 216.88, another level of support, 214.85, and 212.78. Note the sell-off at resistance, sell-off at resistance there. We hit basically support and we started to bounce off of that. And as far as the earnings report, revenue 85.777 billion, the estimate was 84.433 billion, and yet the stock went down. Happens all the time. So note the sell-off here at resistance and then grinding along the middle of the trend. And this gap still in play, but we are moving farther away from this on the five minute. You will get different buy and sell signals, flipping it over to the different time frames. And that one is done to the south side as well. And that took us to 231.03. This baby gap, which I don't, I shouldn't even bother to draw out, but that will just be closed out by the deviations that I play. This was a, oh, that was a previous, okay, this one is a previous price target. This one was the middle of the trend. And the price target on Apple is 227.01, which represents nearly a 4% return from where we are, which isn't great. Obviously, if you bought way down here, then your return would be much better. And we have tons of landmines to the south side, but we are moving farther away from them. I will mark it out later, but let me just extend this while I'm here. Oops, Command Z. And grab this one. It's a gap within a gap. I should just delete it, but. All right, and on the monthly, this is where I've drawn this out so I don't have to flip it back and forth. The monthly RSI, the lowest I've gotten or I've seen is 30 and the highest is at 88. But on the five minute, this is, what are we looking at? Make it this a little bit bigger. Turning up with plenty of room to move to the upside, but Option R, we are at support, so I will anticipate a bounce up to definitely the middle of the trend. If you're playing very conservatively, if you're getting down here, here, or here, you ride it up to the next line, or perhaps the next line, or to the middle of the trend and, and bounce out, get out, or as I like to do, typically, playing within negative two and two standard deviations. All right, I drew this one out on a different time frame, but it touched here at the five, so let me clean that one up. And this one touched right here to the downside at 219.78, no longer a threat to our account to the south side. There are other threats though. And we are in an upward channel on the five. And this one will take us up well, out at 209.35 and touching roughly at 210.94, I think it was. Yeah. All right, that's Apple. So SPY, Apple, I want to do NVIDIA. Very quickly, since I've been tracking this one lately. All right, we are at 109.21, down 6.67%. So from where we are, VWAP and resistance and the middle of the trend basically is 112.16. And then above that, you're looking at 121, 
125.03 and roughly 129.27 at four standard deviations. I do not anticipate we get to this level or this level, but should we do, you can bet people will take their profits, they will run, they will lock in, and they will leave. And then potentially you could buy in at a lower price if you bought up here. So to the south side, one level of support, 104.14, 99.87, As far as the gaps go, this gap, we touched it today, but did not close it out. So that will take us, we could definitely get here on Friday, close this thing out. Well, actually start it and then maybe close it out on Tuesday unless we go up a lot more. And that depends on the buying pressure here. All right, to the south side, the gaps. This one is still in play to the downside. I have no idea where this is going to take us and I will just extend it and keep track of it. So that will take us down to 104.22, which is basically negative two standard deviations. And that's within this play for Friday, which I think we could definitely close. All right, and then this gap takes us down to 94.96. And I'm watching out for this, and that's when I will be jumping in, even though we do have another gap that takes us down to 74.23, closing out at 67.61. But on the five minute, we are moving farther away from that channel. We are not in the channel, not in the zone, not even close, something to be aware of. Okay, that's NVIDIA and the top runner today within Vanguard's Total Stock Market Index Fund was APD. I'm tracking 234 tickers. APD ran 8.95%. This is the first time I have tracked this ticker. We ended the day at 287.47. VWAP is at 289.65. 299.69, 306.40, and 313.38. And they recently had earnings there. Okay, and to the south side, one level of support, 272.19 ish, 264.93, and 258.29. There's that gap to the south side. Actually, let me just do this market so this would be a better buying opportunity if you bought higher and up here we gapped up on thursday earnings and what else did i see oh wait a minute i guess i did oh i guess i did track this at 279.53, up at resistance. And what happens at resistance? People take their profits and they run, they lock in and they leave. And then on the way down, this turns into support, another level of support. That's why you could potentially see a bounce. And then here again, support, and then another level of support, the middle of the trend. And this gap closed. I really should be doing this on the five because I draw the gaps on the five. And this one, we went down. So I anticipate, oops, a gap up to fill. Just trying to, I have to click on the outside of that box. And then we touched right there to the upside at 258.16. So congratulations if you made some money off of this one. And let's take a look at the worst performing stock, which interests me more than the biggest runner, the largest runner, 
Palo Alto, I've tracked this many times. Let's take this to the five minute. Let this populate. All right, on the five, we are going down. And we're at 315. 62. Let's make this black. All right. So your price targets will be VWAP 317.18, resistance roughly 324, 327.51, 3079, support 310.64 ish, 307.50, and 303.96. Note the bounce here. Support, 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 support. And then we didn't quite make it to this line. Can't win them all. Starts to run. This will turn into resistance. So then we could fall back down or grind here for a little while until buyers or sellers step in. As far as this gap goes, this gap closed to the downside at 325.84, no longer a threat to our account. Delete, delete. And then note we are at support here, and you can see we're grinding along the line. And then, boom, a bounce up to resistance, middle of the trend, and then above that on this one. So we go up, didn't quite hit it, I should say, for that level and then fell back down to support and then tried to make another run a jailbreak run all right look at this huge gap here that i'm tracking this has been a while let me just flip this to the 15 so i can see it better there we go we just populated and this gap began roughly on Tuesday, February 20th. All right, we gap down off of earnings and I anticipate a gap up when it fills. So this will be the nice target to look forward to. Oops. At 364.88. And then we've got this gap to the south side that will take us down to 247.74. We are in a downward channel on the 15, so be aware of that. And I've got to go through, it's a little slow. Look at this. So this gap took us down to 210. And this one, I believe, is still in play as well. Oops. Yeah. I have not tracked this one for quite some time. So this will take us down to, just mark this, and that. All right. Oh, and one fi final, let me go back to the five. So we are not in the channel where these gaps are. Not in the zone, not even close, just something to be aware of because we are going down, but these stocks are very fragile or fragile, and they, you never know when they're going to start turning around on a dime and then move away from this. So check your RSI, your MACD, RSI, your MACD, draw your trend lines, your dead cat bounces, flagpoles. I don't do any of that, but just to give you a higher probability of hitting your targets. Now, the next one, did I? Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay, I've, I'm pretty sure I did. The outer band is 330.92 and 304.15, 310.58. I, I got sidetracked. I'm pretty sure I gave you the price targets, 324.07. All right, now for a trade that I took today, because it hit my target. Silly me, I got a little antsy and I just got out because my intention was to sell out 
because I dollar cost, I did dollar cost averaging into this position because I bought it high and it tanked. And so let me tell you what I did. First, I'm going to go over today's price of 55.44 is where we ended up 3.70%. Now, let me mark this. I saw it running this morning. I already had an order a cup an order to sell a couple days ago when I started to see it run. All right, we are at 55.44 for your price targets. Resistance 55.80, 56.28, and 56.75. You know what's going to happen there. The blue line 54.99 VWAP, close to the middle of the trend 54.81, 53.87. Fifty-three thirty-seven, and fifty-two eighty-nine. So ignore all the pink lines and the green lines. Those are my previous buy and sell lines. All right. So the first trade I got stopped out of a sell limit. I wanted to get rid of this and this ticker, and I did today. So I set my sell order. At the time, it was closer to two standard deviations. These calculations constantly change depending upon the time frame that you play. So I sold out here for a 2.21% return, thinking I don't care if I just break even, I just want out of it. Even though I did see that the one year price target was 53.86. So when I set this a couple of days ago, my thought process was just to get out with a little bit of something if I could. So when I looked, I had already sold out of this by hitting the sell limit. So then I had more shares at 52.35 and that gave me a 4.5% return where I hit the target. I, I did the sell limit on Thursday. So I got out and at that time, it was between two and three standard deviations. And look where the calculations are now. We're back at basically two standard, two standard deviations and resistance. So had I been patient and just watched, which I'm not, and I have things I have to do. So from here, I sold out at 2.21%. Then I took another return at 4.5%, but had I held and the highest point right there would have been 6.33%. Beats the bank's regular interest rate at 0 0.00001. Never give your money to Chase and any of those banks that have that. Yes, you have to have a checking account just to pay your bills, but shop around for a better interest rate. Move your money around. Don't let them use you. You use them. Okay, now, I do have more shares down here at 51.46. Again, my intent was just to get rid of this price point at 52.35 and 52.44. So I still have some at 51.46, I have to decide. So when I saw that this was at 53.86, I already knew that we were gonna hit that just intuitively, we were so close. And then I looked at the forecast for the next target and it was, Okay, this one changed. It was at 57 something, I think, after that. Now it's at 58, I think. So I could let this run, and this is going to whip us around. We're at resistance. We will be cracking. We've already started to crack here, but we're turning up right now. But we could hit this and then fall back down. The market giveth and it taketh. Can't expect it to keep running without consolidating for the next leg up, according to the analysts. All right, so if I sell and put an order in up here, that would be an 8% return, 8.5. But I think I'm going to try and hold out to four standard deviations, which will get me 10%, which I like to release that at 10%. 
because this one I don't care. I'll hang on to this one longer term. And I do have more shares. Ignore these lines. I've already sold out here, I think, a while ago, too. I do have shares at 45.74. So dollar cost averaging does work on quality stocks, but you have to be able to weather the storm and not have to touch the money. It's long-term money if your dollar cost averaging down because who knows when it's going to come back. So if I sold or was able to get today's return at 54.44, that would be a return of 21%, but I'm gonna go for four standard deviations and if I get knocked out, so be it. So I've got this level at 45, 45.74 and 52.35 remaining. So that's my goal to hit up there and then just keep this longer term. All right, that does it for me. Have a great trading day.